Well, uh, yeah, let's talk about it. Shout out to everybody that's in the building. Yeah, we very much back. I'm going to just check out the task force updates real quick and we're going to get to this guy. Then we could be, wow, we could pick the player. That's crazy. Candy Drips just sent you a friend request. Shout out uh, Silo Sage again with the perfect tweet. One of the task force updaters. Shout out Token Knee with the perfect tweet. One of the task force updaters. About to just post y'all on this uh, Instagram. And we about to get to it. All right, so um, y'all know what to do. Proper etiquette. Message somebody in the chat. Message them directly. If you got love for them, send them a positive message. If you don't want to do that, write a positive message in the chat so we all can see it. Something like this. Um, and if you don't want to do that, think of a positive thought. Put some good vibes in the air and uh, just think about it. You don't got to write it. Just think about it. Let's do that real quick before we start up. So look, um, Lego John said we literally are six games, games deep tonight. This history. Oh yeah, we get it in. Like when John said, love y'all. Yeah, we didn't got an end. Positive, yeah, we, we, we real positive in the building, family. Real positive. So, look, this is Jurassic Park. This game came out in 1993. This is a Sega Genesis game only. I repeat, this is a Sega Genesis game only. Developed by Blue Scott. Excuse me. <clears throat> Developed by Blue Sky Software and published by Sega for the Sega Genesis and the Mega Drive. It was released as part of the tie-in merchandise to the 1993 film of the same name. The game includes elements from Michael Crinchton's 1990 novel Jurassic Park on which the film is based. Um... After the financial success of the film and its merchandise, Sega released a sequel video game called Jurassic Park Rampage Edition. Um, a 75,000 Velociraptor puppet from the film was also used for the production of the game. The game features artificial dinosaur intelligence that causes the dinosaur enemies to react differently Every time to a level, every time a level is played, giving the player a unique experience each time. Uh -oh. Jurassic Park was the first game by Sega to, uh, to be developed using silicon graphics. Um, computers at the company's new development facility. Such computers were previously used to create computer generated dinosaurs for the film. 
Approximately 250,000 copies were sold within the first week <coughs> of the game's U.S. release, totaling a record 13.8 million. Um, Morgan Webb of X Play criticized the game as a poor movie tie-in and included it in on the show's list of games we wish were buried in New Mexico. I didn't say that. That was something corny that Morgan Webb said. And forgive me for calling uh, Morgan corny. Um, that was judgmental and uh, very negative of me. So forgive me. Uh, Game Informer magazine declared the Genesis version of Jurassic Park somewhat superior to the Super Nintendo version in a 2002 compare. I mean, excuse me, a 2012 comparison of the two games. But we all know that the Lil B review is going to be the final review and the most important review because I'm coming from a place of respect, love, and positivity, as we all are. Also, for this game, I'm going to be um, taking y'all little B score to consideration. So I will be looking in the chat to see uh, in-game scores that y'all give, up-to-date scores that you're giving this game. And I'll take that into consideration when I give my final little B score and review at the end of the game. Let's play. We already turned up. Oh, shit. Sheesh. Look at John said, I hope we don't hurt the dinos here. <clears throat> Fed G said, let us play. Sadly, he's hurting the dinosaurs in this game. Once again, we don't hurt animals in real life. We are in the game and we're playing the game. We got to respect the art form of the game. But in real life, we understand and know that hurting animals is uh, not something that we do in base world. We already talked about that on uh, one of the last streams. I think it was... Uh, what was it, the perfect uh, cat, the deadliest catch or something stream? Where we actually um, talked about how what they call fishing is really finessing animals. And uh, I actually uncovered what it truly is, and it's called finessing sea animals. That's what it really, lying and finessing sea animals. So if, you know, you missed that, uh... You know, hop back on that, hop back on that uh, little B review and check that uh, review out and you'll be able to hear the commentary. We got deep. That was a real controversial uh, review. Oh. Family, this is a big ass dinosaur. He is getting handled.
Oh. Oh, gosh. Oh, shit. This game is crazy. I, I will tell y'all that. This game is definitely crazy. That's crazy. Well, let's try to play as a dinosaur. Let's see how that goes. This game, I'm not fully like, what the hell? Because the game is over so quickly. I think because that the dinosaur, we're able to play as the dinosaur, that gives us a different type of vibe. And I'm actually excited to see this. Like I said, I, I never played this game before. I'm Savage says, does Lil B have Aladdin for the Super Nintendo? I already uh, gave a Lil B review on Aladdin for the Sega Genesis. They're the same thing. Check out that and uh, some of my older uh, Lil B reviews on the channel. Wow, this game is crazy. Wow. Who would have thought this game would be that this forward thinking for you to let you play as the dinosaur as well as the human? I mean that that that's extremely forward thinking, family. God damn, look how high it jumps. God damn. Thank <laughs> you. 
God. Oh yeah, I guess you gotta look below you. This game is crazy as hell. Yeah, even the graphics are very different in this game. So look, yeah, Boxman said he quite having fun. I mean, look, this game different. Uh, I'm gonna have to give this game an 80 plus out of 100 with a classic and legacy status. I mean, this game is hard, but it's it, this is game is pretty cool, family. You know what I'm saying? And, and I feel like this game definitely paved the way for other games in the future to you know be able to switch between like human. And Alien or something like we've seen with uh, Alien versus Predator on the Xbox. Where it had that mission where we could be the Predator and we could be Alien. And it was just amazing. It was just amazing. Family Box Mill with the new clip. Jacob the Great with the new clip. You know, um, if y'all got the Sega Genesis, I would advise y'all to add this game to your collection. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not. It's not bad. It's a dope game. I'm going to actually be uh, giving this a little B signature of approval. So I will be writing on this game with a little B signature of approval straight from me. And potentially one of y'all will get this game in the future. But, I mean, look I mean, look at this. This game got a damn boat on it. I mean, and the graphics are unique, you know? Like, I respect this game for pushing things forward. I mean, this game is hard, fam. Like, look at this. I mean, look at the the computer playing. Like, I probably won't play this game again in my personal time. But, and I won't stream this game again. But this is a classic nonetheless, family. You know what I'm saying? I mean, sheesh, fam. This is serious. Blakes just said, Lil B, shout out to Costa Rica. 
where Jurassic Park is set. Love, love to uh, Costa Rica. We got some Costa Rica family in the building. So look, um, Tatum Hank said he's swimming. So look, uh, damn, y'all see that big ass uh, dinosaur? So look, fam, um, let's get to a proper etiquette. Y'all know what the deal is. Uh, send a positive message to someone in the chat. Someone that's been with you this whole time. That's been with us every, uh, the, every all, this all, throughout all the little B reviews today or tonight. Send them a private message or a message and uh, on the chat. Send them a personal message of, of love and positivity. If you don't want to do that, write a personal message in the chat that we all can see. And if you don't want to do that, think of a positive message that we all can uh, just get good vibes from. Think of it. Don't even talk about it. Just think about it. Let's all do this real quick. So y'all already know. So y'all already know, family. It's 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 so much love, and I want to say this: um, never give up, and also never forget the ones that were here before. It's like you see the dinosaurs and the ancestors. Never forget those, because eventually, hopefully, we will become one of those. We will become a fossil. We will become an ancestor. But right now, let's live our life to the fullest with a smile and with a tear in our eye. And the tears come from positivity and love. Have a tear, family, and cry. Cry because you're amazing. Cry because you're alive. Cry because you're not scared to smile. Cry because you got so much love in your heart. Cry because it's okay. Cry because you know little B. Cry because you are a part of base world. Cry because there's love in the world. Cry because there's people that are kind. Cry because love is around us. Cry because we got so many reasons to. Cry because you lost family members. Cry because we lost family members. Cry because there will be people that won't be alive on earth tomorrow. Cry because we might have some people that we love dearly that won't be here anymore. Cry because we won't be here anymore ourselves. Cry because we never know. Cry because we got one life to live. Cry because we know Lil B. Cry because we know the base God.